Okay, this video is going to show what steps I took to remove the Grand Sport fender badges on a C6 Grand Sport 2010 to 2013, switching it from the chrome to a GM, uh, I believe it's the 100th anniversary of General Motors Chevrolet, but essentially the Centennial uh, blacked out fender badges. Get the car jacked up, secured, wheel off. I come in here and pull off these clips. And there's some other clips that are in here. Just take your time on getting them out. I'm gonna pull this whole inner fender out right here, the inner fender well. And then there's a couple other clips underneath as well. There's some screw here, screw there, and a clip there. And then we're gonna expose the entire uh, inner fender. Okay, so with the inner fender off, you can see the clips, they kind of just pop off. Just be delicate with it, Work, take your time, you don't wanna break anything. You also see that there's some double back tape installed by the factory here. I'm gonna clean this up and put new double back tape on just for a little higher quality fit and finish. You can see where the double back tape went, made it to the fender. I'll clean this surface up as well, kind of clean out any kind of rocks and contaminants that builds up after, after the years. So behind this, behind this little shield here is the, the plate. And it's kind of, it's up in there. There's, you can see one of the studs that gets bolted onto. A little bit of a challenge. Uh, it's fastened, this plate is fastened at the top and the bottom with some kind of, uh, you know, sealant, some kind of tape with some kind of rubberized sealant. Uh, on the other side, I did break that loose on the top so I could gain access to it. Uh, and then to uh, put it back, maybe some silicone or just a little dab of epoxy just so you can break it loose again. So the passenger side, considerably less clearance. Uh, I got the six speed with the dry sump, so that takes up some, some space there. Had to loosen the fender on the bottom, pull it away a little bit. And uh, here's this bracket plastic shroud that I had to break the seal on the bottom and you can see the the studs up there one still one nut remaining so there's the three studs uh, considerably tighter spot on the passenger side here so have some patience okay so new badge is on and we got some glue holding this uh, shroud down uh, so while that's drying, setting up a little bit, it's time to remove some of this double back tape that isn't sticking anymore and apply some new stuff. I'm going to do that with a heat gun and uh, uh, a little plastic razor blade would work too, but this is what I'm using. Alright, so badge is on. I have the inner fender lip here all cleaned up as best as I can, just wiped it down with a little water. And then put some new double back tape in the same area that the factory did. Used a heat gun to remove the old stuff while it's still warm, pressed in this stuff real nice and tight. Now we can uh, install the inner fender well. All right, sorry I can't get a better shot. It's a little crammed here in the garage, uh, but looks much better. A little more of a modern look to it versus the chrome.